First breaking news, Governor Gina Raimondo warning the virus is now spreading fast in Rhode Island. We're awaiting a briefing from President Trump. We'll bring you that when it happens. Now first, the latest case numbers in southern New England. Rhode Island has 114 new cases today and a fourth person has died from the virus, a man in his 70s. The state now has more than 400 confirmed cases. Massachusetts reports 797 new cases for a total of 5,752. The state also reports eight new deaths, including a woman in her 70s from Bristol County. 56 people in Massachusetts have now died from the virus. The Rhode Island Health Department reports 41 people have been hospitalized so far. We have seen that number steadily increase over the last several days. Governor Raimondo says the state is about halfway to her goal of doing 1,000 tests a day, which she hopes to reach this week. Also today, the governor announced that remote learning will continue for the foreseeable future. Iowa News reporter Kim Kalunian joins us now live with the latest. Kim. Mike and Shannon, the governor had previously said it was unlikely that students would return to their classrooms by next week. Now we know they will not be returning until May at the earliest. We in Rhode Island will continue with distance learning through the end of April. Governor Gina Raimondo announcing public school children will continue to learn from home for the foreseeable future. If April goes as well as the past week, I very likely may say we're going to do it again for the month of May. Raimondo says distance learning is going better than anticipated with attendance rates up in some cases. To troubleshoot technical issues, households that have a hotspot enabled cell phone with service from T-Mobile, Sprint, AT&T or Verizon can now receive free hotspot service until May 18th. Cox Communications is also offering two months of free Wi-Fi for low-income families. Keeping children at home is just another way to help slow the spread of coronavirus. On Monday, the state saw its highest daily increase in cases amid another death from the virus and 15 confirmed cases at three nursing homes. We are at a very critical phase right now and need everyone to do their part to help us as a state manage this public health crisis. In the coming days, I'm going to be giving some tough news, I predict, around the rate of increase in these cases. The best thing everybody can do in order to help us out and slow down the, the spread is to stay home if you are sick, to abide by the new social distancing regulations, to wash your hands, to stay calm and stay informed. And today the governor says the state is about halfway towards reaching her goal of executing 1,000 COVID-19 tests per day. A big question on everyone's minds is when things will get back to normal. And today with news of increased and expanded testing, the governor was asked when we can expect to see the economy reopen. She says there are many factors that will go into that decision. I would want to see things like, um, you know, uh, hospitals having adequate capacity. So right now we're spending an awful lot of time trying to figure out how to put capacity into the system. You know, we're thinking where can we get another 1,000, 2,000 hospital beds. So before I could even think about reopening the economy, I'd have to see the hospital census back to some sense of normalcy and making sure that we have plenty of um, capacity in the system. I would have to be sure that we uh, have all the PPE that we need for many months. We'd have to be sure that industry by industry, we have a new set of rules for how we're going to live in the new normal. By the way, that requires equipment. If one of our new rules is testing the, taking the temperature of everybody before they go to work, it means I'm going to have to be comfortable knowing that we can procure a large number of thermometers. You know, I will note that President Trump yesterday extended the uh, social distancing out until the end of next, until the end of April. So I think that should give you a strong signal that um, we're we're in this for at least another month while we try to figure out uh, how to get a handle on it and then can think about reopening the economy. Also today, as promised, the governor offering continued guidance on what will happen with public schools today, saying that students will continue their distance learning until at least the end of April. 